Close your eyes and watch your breath as it comes in, as it goes out. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths all the way down into your intestines and see how that feels. If long breathing feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't feel good, you can change. Try shorter breathing, more shallow, faster, slower, heavier, lighter. Think of broad breathing or more narrow breathing. You're focusing on the movement of energy in the body. So you can focus on it anywhere in the body at all. And try to keep that movement of energy comfortable, because this is what keeps you alive. If it weren't for the breath, you'd be dead. So take some interest in this, because the quality of the breathing is sure to have an impact on the quality of the health of your body and the health of your mind. So take some time to do a little healing work here, and to get the mind in a position where it can settle down with a sense of ease and well-being in the present moment. Because the mind needs that sense of well-being if it's going to look at its life with any kind of objectivity. Because otherwise we just go on our impulses. And if you're feeling ill at ease, it's very easy to go after an impulse because you don't like where you are, so you want to go someplace else. But if you can settle down and have a sense of well-being right here, then you can look around and see what should be done, what shouldn't be done, what's worthwhile and what's not worthwhile. So you're not so driven by urges or driven by whatever ideas the media puts in your head. You've got your own perspective on things. You've got your own solid place of looking at things. This is especially important when you look at your life and ask yourself, where is your life going? The new year is a convenient time to do this because we're turning a new page in the calendar, a new page in the a new calendar entirely. So you can ask yourself, this year, what do I want to do with this year? What do I want to accomplish? All too often, life is just a matter of eating and sleeping and having some pleasure and then having some pain. And that's about it. They say that the Buddha, on the night of his awakening, when he was able to remember his past lives, that was what his memories were all about. This is what he looked at. This, like, this is what he looked like. This is what kind of being he was. This was the kind of pleasure he had. This is the kind of the pain he had. This is the kind of food he ate. And this is how he died. And that was it. Each life. Just pleasure, pain, food, die. Pleasure, pain, food, die. It's not much. But you can have the choice to make your life more than that. Like the Buddha himself, he realized that he had, at some point along the line, he realized that he wanted to get out of this cycle. He wanted to get something better. And so he had to develop good quality in his mind. They call them perfections. The qualities like generosity, virtue, renunciation, discernment, energy, endurance, truthfulness, determination, goodwill, equanimity. It's a list of ten qualities that are called perfections. And you might want to look at that list and see which of those qualities would you like to develop. Because that's what gives meaning to the life. Otherwise, it's just a, a cycle of one calendar after another, after another, after another, then it stops. And you ask yourself, what did you gain out of that? And you look back at it, and there, and there are some pleasures, but there's an awful lot of pain. Is that what you want in life, or do you want something more? In the meditation, you can do something where you can develop these qualities, and you can make a conscious effort to develop the qualities that you want throughout life, like virtue, those precepts we took just now. Those are good qualities to develop. It develops a sense of, sense of being principled in your behavior, so deciding that you're not going to harm anybody under any circumstances. And then you actually look at your behavior and try to bring it in line with those principles. And that's an accomplishment. All too often we measure our accomplishments in other ways, in terms of money or status or praise. But that stuff just comes and goes. It washes over you and then washes away, and there's nothing left. But with the virtue you build into your heart, that's, that's in the heart there, and it doesn't go anywhere. That sense of being principled, that sense of having a sense of standards in your behavior that you hold to, regardless of what other people are doing, that gives you a sense of independent worth in your life. So you do have something more to show for your life than just pleasure, pain, food, and death. So give this some thought. What kind of virtues and what kind of good qualities would you like to develop in the coming year? You don't have to wait until January 1st. You can start today. And meditating is a good way to help give you the strength of mind to see what's really worthwhile and what's not, and also to do what's worthwhile. Because sometimes it's, it's easy to see what the right thing is, but you don't have the strength to do it. Well, meditation gives you the strength. You've got this solid place in the present moment where you can stay and look around you. And you don't feel threatened, you don't feel pushed around by other things. That's a good quality to have in mind because it helps with all the other virtues, all the other good qualities you want to develop in your life. To so make this a daily practice, 
you'll find that you'll benefit, the people around you will benefit as well. And the time comes when next year's calendar changes. This year the calendar comes in, the new year always looks like a baby, and the old year always looks like an old man, the old man is all beat, beaten and battered. Well, you know what's going to happen to the baby. Next year it's going to come back and it's going to be that beaten, battered old man. But if you have something good to show for the fact that you may have been beaten and battered around a little bit in the year, that you would actually accomplish something of real worth in your life, then that makes all the difference. <laughs>